Mad Money Lightning Round is brought to you by TD Ameritrade, where smart investors get smarter. It is time! It's time for the light round! What is that? And then the lightning round is over. Are you ready, Ski Daddy? I'm the lawyer. Okay, let's start with Gloria in New Jersey. Gloria! Oh, yeah, Jim. Uh, first time caller. Right. I loved your show. Oh, thank you. Uh, there are some class action suits against Virgin Galactic alleging that they provided false or misleading information to investors. Also, their stock dropped from 54 to 47 yesterday. Is Virgin Galactic a good buy at you these know, levels? You know, the class action stock doesn't bother me as much. What it really is is that it's basically a very expensive stock, and I think it had, it had a good run. Let's find others. I mean, I just think it's had a good run. Not unlike a lot of the companies that came, it went IPO today, and they have really had too good a run. They, those are also ones that I wouldn't buy. Let's go to, oh, except for Didi, seems inexpensive. Let's go to Scott in Florida. Scott! Good evening, Dr. Kramer. Hi. Uh, I'm curious about investing in server farms. I own Digital Realty Trust, and other than maybe Amazon, which has AWS, which data center stock deserves to be in my 401k? Well, actually, I think that you're in the best one. Uh, you're in one that I think is out of, just just terrific, uh, and I would stick with it. Uh, they are, um, you know, look, that's a $43 billion company. It's, it's, it's no small change, it, and they're, they're very, very well. I wish they come on the show. Let's go to John in Louisiana. John! Hey, Jim. Jim, thanks for taking my call. Jim, I live in Shreveport, Louisiana. We're located in northwest Louisiana. We're very aware of the storm season, otherwise known as hurricane season in Louisiana. We know the importance of alternative backup power solutions to keep the lights on. Okay. We know who the premier providers of backup power solutions are. Several years ago, I bought Genric Holding Shares, Jim. It's done well. Okay. Recently, it appears to be trading at high limits of projected price targets. Okay. Jim, unfortunately, no storms are coming. All right. Well, I hold it and hope it trades higher. Okay. Ready to register and take profits or should right. I buy more? It's what? Which stock? Generac Holdings. Oh, my God. Generac. Generac is one of the, what, five best performers in the first half of the year. It's a stock that I like very much. Please do not sell that stock. The problem that you have is being exemplified by all over in the West. I think Generac is great. Plus, they know how to do storage, and they're always welcome to the show. You've got to go in. And by the way, Shreveport is a dawn. If no one's been to Shreveport, I like it more than Baton Rouge. Let's go. Hey, little bar, baby. Let's go to Robert in Florida. Robert. Yes, sir. Jim the Booyah. Booyah. Kramer. Booyah. 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 How are you, sir? I'm All good. Right, How are you? So I got an opinion. What's your opinion on the Sorrento Therapeutics on their portfolio of products, including their Kobe sticks, Kobe drops? I think drop. it's fine. I mean, look, it's, a, it's kind of, it's not really a meme stock, but it's one that is, it's got too much hot money in it. Too much hot money. Let's go to Carlos in, Cal- uh, in California. Carlos. Hey, Cramper. How's it going, buddy? All right, it's going well. How about you? Good, good, man. I just want to tell you, I love you, man. And you make you make uh, uh, investing fun. I want people to learn. That's how you have to do You have to make it interesting. What's up? Okay, so um, should I hold or should I sell uh, stock symbol H? A-E. Oh, Hemanetics, you know what? I, they they must have, they had a not great quarter, but this is a company that's done very well over time. I'm a buyer of Hemanetics, a buyer. And I've known these guys forever. Let's go to Chet in California, please, Chet. Booyah, Jim. Booyah. Several years ago, I took some mad money and invested in this stock as a spec play against the use of post-surgery opioids. I've traded around the position, and it's been very, very profitable for me. However, because of COVID, and the reduction of elective surgeries, the stock has been trading in a range. I feel the stock should get back on track now that elective surgeries are increasing, but I'd like to get your opinion on whether I should sell, hold, or buy some more Zynex, ticker No, your, your, your analysis is spot on, sir. Uh, this is exactly what's been hurting it. All the companies that have outsourced, all the companies that have that kind of surgery have been held off. It's time to buy, not sell, your stock. And that, ladies and gentlemen, the conclusion of the Lightning Round! The Lightning Round is sponsored by TD Ameritrade. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call 
at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.